Well, E, you go, girl, because compared to us, you look positively fetching, baby. It's true, because while we learned today the European Union's debt now equals 90% of its economy, guess what? <laughs> We're worse. Our debt is bigger than our entire economy, and it's getting worse by the day. Takeda's Dan Mitchell and Town Hall Magazine's Elizabeth Meinke on that. Dan, what do you think? I think we're uh, simply uh, reaping the fruits of what we've been sowing for the past uh, not just four years, but all the way uh, this entire century under both Bush and Obama. Government spending has been exploding. Uh, it's been growing faster than the private sector. And when government spending grows faster than the private sector, inevitably, you wind up not only with more debt, but you wind up on a very dangerous path. And we see in countries like Greece and Spain and Italy where it leads. And uh, if we don't change policy and begin to get spending under control, we're in trouble. You know what's sad about this, Elizabeth, is on a, on a percentage basis of our GDP to debt and all, we're worse than they are. Now, now of course, we're, we, we have many more things, a sheer size and, and, and a, a, a more flexible economy, even with all our problems that can allow us not to potentially repeat the riots and the problems they're experiencing abroad. But uh, not a whole lot of leg room between us. What, what do you make of it? Well, I think that we do deserve an IOU from Europe for making them look good. <laughs> um, but really, you know, I think this is why Americans should be th so thankful that someone like Paul Ryan is on the national stage right now. Really because he is able to talk about some of these programs that are poorly run in this country, like Social Security, which are part of the reason why our debt to GDP ratio is so unfavorable. You know, uh, looking at that, I wonder, if you think about it, Dan, the reason why we have been, you know, okay with our markets and everything else is almost a, a default by comparison. In other words, we stink, they stink more. The ones who stink more come here because we stink less or invest here. I don't know how long that's going to be the case, though. There's an old joke that uh, two guys are out camping and they see a big hungry bear charging over the mountain and one of them puts on his sneakers. His friend says, you can't run faster than a bear. And he says, I don't have to run faster than a bear. I just have to run faster than you. And that's what the competition between the United States and Europe is a bit like. We've both been spending too much. Uh, and, of course, over in Europe, you, know, you have these, these crazy guys like Hollande and France who now wants a 75 percent tax rate. Uh, and if you look at the long run numbers, and this is what's most frightening. The Bank for International Settlements in Switzerland did a study uh, in July of 2010 looking at the long-run data between now and 2040. We are worse than every single European country in terms of the rising burden of government spending. I assume mostly because our baby boom generation is bigger. But what Elizabeth said is right. If we don't begin to adopt some of the types of entitlement reforms that Paul Ryan is talking about, we are going to face the exact same fiscal catastrophe uh, that we're seeing in European countries. Yes, it helps that we're big. It helps that we have our own currency, although that's a mixed blessing, because if they finance government spending by inflating, it turns out that that's right. a, a negative. A but, Elizabeth, it is your generation and all the like that, uh, and I envy your, your youth, but I will just say this. When they were polling a lot of young people about their own finances, very few are optimistic they're going to be able to retire allegedly. Uh, very few are, are optimistic they'll be able to retire at all. Very few have faith in Social Security, Medicare, any of the entitlement programs uh, that are around today. I, uh, that is unprecedented, that a, a young generation is so cynical and so jaded, even in the midst of the Depression. We didn't see that. What's going on? Well, I mean, I concur. You know, my office is, we're all, um, you know, young adults, young professionals. And, you know, every time we look at our, we've really stopped looking at how much they take out of our paychecks for Social Security, which, by the way, will probably go up next year um, if the payroll tax uh, increase goes through. Um, and, and, you know, we are discouraged because we know that that's money, you know, we'll, not only that we'll never see again, but, you know, probably isn't going to help anything in the long run. And, you know, to think that people my, you know, my, when my parents were my age, they were growing up under a Reagan administration really kind of puts into perspective um, kind of the emotions surrounding the younger generation in this country now. All right, that's it. You said your parents are growing up in the Reagan administration. I've had enough. <laughs> Elizabeth, thank you. <laughs> Dan, them too. <laughs> uh, enough of her. She's off the show for good. Um, guys, thank you both. Seriously, very, very much.